Hey guys, welcome back. So today we are doing a shopping vlog. I went out on my birthday, so you'll see two different days. I went out shopping on my birthday and then now I went out shopping again. So I'm just combining the two days. Obviously I look very different in both of the days. It's actually pouring rain right now. I don't know if you guys can even see it like in the back, but it's raining. It's raining very hard. So I'm very casual today. Like I'll show you an outfit of the day later. Not that it's interesting at all, but I'll show you later. So if you guys want to come shopping with me and Elver, then please just keep on watching. But wait, you already know what I'm gonna say. If you're not already subscribed, then see yourself. I post on Wednesdays and on Sundays at 9 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, and I feel like you're gonna wanna be here when I do. If you like luxury, you like handbags, you like fashion, you like rainy days. I feel like this is definitely where you're gonna wanna be, so you should subscribe if you're not already, and you should follow me over on Instagram if you're not already. It's just the Katie Danger. I post every single day over there. Every day is a real outfit of the day, something on stories, we post a lot. We post a lot over there, so you should follow me over there if you're not already. And with all that out of the way, let's jump into the video. Okay, so starting off this vlog with day one, which was my actual birthday, I decided to take off from work so I could go shopping. So I did that, and the first stop was Gucci. I wanted to see the new horse bit clutch bag, but obviously I got distracted by this so black mini top handle and i loved it i have to say you guys know obviously i've said this more than once on my channel but this is the first time i believe that i'm seeing it in person and i just think that it looks so cool and so edgy and i love the different strap options that you have here i was obviously more drawn to the web version i just think it looks really cool and comfortable i mean i like thicker strap options in general so i think that's why i really liked it but i just thought it was so it's just a really cool bag in my opinion Speaking of black bags, obviously I had to check out the Jackie. You guys know that's one of my favorite styles from Gucci. If you guys haven't seen my best Gucci bags video, I'll link that in the cards right now. But I love the Jackie. This is not the version that I was like obsessed with. There was one a couple years back that was like lizard with like a more mesh detail. This one is a little bit more subtle than that one, but I still think it was beautiful. The SA showed me this beautiful pink one that is special. It comes with this chain strap instead, but I didn't love it as much as I loved this one. This, in my opinion, is the best thing that I saw the day of my birthday. I absolutely love this bag. It is a lizard mesh. It's like a baby pink jackie. It is so freaking stunning. I It took everything in me not to buy this bag, but you guys know I have like three pink bags. Four pink bags? No, three pink bags. So I feel like I'm good in the pink department, but this bag is so stunning that it was hard to say no. <laughs> then I finally got to try on the horse bit clutch in the smaller size. I didn't like the bigger size at all, even seeing it. I just thought it was not it for me, but the smaller one I thought was kind of cute. Not something that I would personally buy, but I thought it was nice enough. I stopped by Louis Vuitton for 30 seconds to see if they had any of the new shearling bags. They didn't, so I just took the one quick clip. But then we moved on to Cartier, where here you'll see me trying on the Thin Love bracelet. This one is the one with all the diamonds. I wasn't really wowed by this, but I also think I didn't try it on the correct way. Like I needed to try it on with the Juice and Clue on top, so I might have to go back and try it on. But you guys know I'm really not a love bracelet person. I just think that the thin one, if I tried it on correctly, I think that one might have been okay. I also tried on the regular size, which you saw, and now I'm just showing you some of the things that I saw on the display. I also really wanted to try on the Clash de Cartier ring. So this one is in the white gold, and now I'm trying on the yellow gold. I prefer the yellow gold for sure. I just thought the white gold would look nice with my wedding ring, but I definitely like the yellow gold more. Was that yellow gold or rose gold? Honestly, I can't even remember. Then I looked at this mini puzzle bag from Loewe. This was the only thing that I saw in Loewe, the only thing I was interested in seeing because I love this bag. You guys know I love this bag, but this is my first time actually trying it on. So I don't know how I felt about it. Let me know in the comments what you guys thought. And then obviously we had to stop by Rolex and I try on the most gorgeous watch that has ever touched my wrist and Elver felt left out. So obviously he had to try something on too. And honestly, we both were very happy when we tried on. I did end up putting my name down, not for the watch that you saw, but for a different watch. So maybe in a year I'll get the call, we'll see. Now moving on to day two, which is the day that I filmed the intro. I passed by Louis Vuitton again. I got to see the camera bag, but I didn't try anything on because it was extremely busy. Like everybody was helping somebody else. So there was just no way, but we did end up going to look at some shoes. I was kind of interested in looking at some loafers. So you'll see, I kind of gravitate more towards loafers, even though loafers are not really my style. I kind of feel like there is a gap in my shoe wardrobe, if you will. And I think loafers would definitely fill that gap. 
Then we were looking at some Bottega shoes. I was looking at these and I thought they were so stunning with the knot on the heel, but they were like $2,000. And I thought that that was a bit expensive for what they are, so we put those back. But then we moved on to some Dior shoes. I've actually never seen these before, and I've never seen this logo. Like, am I wrong? Are these not Dior? And of course, I always have to look at the Dior pumps because I'm in love with them. But I hear that they're uncomfortable. If you guys have those, let me know in the comments if you think that they wear nicely or they're going to make my feet bleed. I'm really not. I'm not interested in having my feet bleed. Then, of course, looking at some more loafers. Elva really hated pretty much every single pair of loafers that we saw. These were the ones from Dior. These were not my favorites. So far from what I saw, the Prada was definitely my favorite. And then I looked at Louboutin. They also had a couple of loafers, but those really didn't interest me too much. I just think I need a black pair of loafers. So that's really what I was looking for, but Elver was just interested in literally everything else. He's showing me these Louboutin boots, which I thought were okay. I got to see the Valentino ballet slippers, and honestly, I have to say they look really freaking cool in person. I don't think they would fit with my style, but I do think that they look really beautiful. So if you were interested, I think they might be worth it. I think they're really cool. Like, I mean, I'm not a ballet slipper kind of person, but I think that they're honestly the best kind that you could get. I also saw these Valentino loafers, which I thought were pretty much neck and neck with the Prada ones. These Valentino ones and the Prada were definitely my favorite. Elver still really didn't like them, but you know what? Who cares what Elver likes, you know? <laughs> then we saw the famous Alaya heart bag. So obviously the mirrored one is, in my opinion, the cooler version. But honestly, it's so heavy. You'll see I'm like swinging it at Elver telling him that I could literally knock him out with this bag because it was super heavy and you really can't fit much in there. And I think it was well over $3,000, like probably almost touching $4,000. So I definitely didn't think it was worth it, but I do think it's a beautiful bag. These are the Chanel sandals that I mentioned in one of my Chanel collection reviews. I can't even, they, they all like mesh together in my mind at this point. I thought that they were beautiful, but obviously it's October. Like it's almost Halloween. I'm not gonna buy sandals right now. I'm looking for maybe boots, sneakers, things like that. Here we have some of the slingbacks that everyone's obsessed with. I really can't get behind them. <laughs> and obviously the ballet flats. Elva really loved these. Like he thought these were the coolest shoes that we've seen all day. Obviously we have very different styles because I thought they were not the vibe. And obviously some more loafers. Are we surprised? <laughs> Then we stopped by Jimmy Choo and I saw these stunning bangs. They're called bangs, right? Jimmy Choo bangs. I thought they were so gorgeous, but I definitely don't need a pair of like going out shoes right now. I have more than enough. And with that in mind, we stopped by Renee Calvilla and looked at all the going out shoes. I thought that these with the snake detail were honestly really cool and different. Obviously, the ones that wrap around have been around for so long and I have a pair of those but I thought those were really different. And then obviously we have these very famous, very expensive boots. I really like the brown version, I have to say. Like, I think if I was gonna get a pair of boots this season, maybe it'd be that. And again, another pair of loafers. I didn't like that these were like a velvety, suede kind of material, but I did think that that snake detail was gorgeous. Then we stopped by Bottega to look at some bags. We're looking at the cassette here. I love the color of this bag. And here is the Andiamo Tote. I believe this is the first time I'm actually touching one in person. I did see one during my fashion photo vlog, which I'll also link up above for you guys, but I didn't actually get to touch that one. So this is my first time actually getting to feel one. Then I saw the sardine bag and you guys, I do not like this bag, or at least I thought I did not like this bag. But once I picked it up, I kind of felt like I understood the hype. I only like this size. We did see it in a bigger size, which you'll see in a second. But the mini size to me was just, it was just right. It's just perfect. It's the right amount of fish. Like, why do I need so much fish? You know, I actually really liked it. And it's like stressing me out that I liked it because it's so not my vibe. <laughs> then we saw a couple of cult Gaia bags. Elver, I cannot tell you how much he disliked these bags. Like this was his least favorite thing from the entire day was this specific clutch. He also didn't really like this one that looks like a shell. It's kind of flimsy on the inside. If you look at it here, it didn't look like it would be like that, but he really was not interested in those clutches. He thought those were like insane. Then we stopped at Celine, of course, and Elver was just mentioning that I used to have this bag, which is the Nano Luggage, and I did have that in red. And he thought that Celine has a very Chanel-esque vibe. That's like his words. He thought that it had a very like classy vibe. So I kind of agree with him on that. Then, although they are a very trendy brand, 
Then we saw this Triumph in velvet, and this is the first time I am ever seeing one in velvet. I honestly think it makes the bag look even cooler. I mean, I always loved the way the Triumph looked. I just think it's like a very trendy piece, so that's why I'm not going for one. But I do think that it looks really cool in velvet. We saw this smaller one that had like an enamel. It's not even enamel, it's just like a same, it's like so black, but it's so gray. <laughs> that's what it is. And I thought that was cool. This Ava is freaking beautiful and then i saw this tiny little box i don't even know what this is called this tiny little box bag i wanted to try it on but no one was really around me to, to help me try it on so i didn't end up getting to do that but i think that that bag was so gorgeous for like going out special occasions i absolutely loved it then we saw this bomb bomb bag from jimmy choo i was also telling over this is like a beautiful gold color and not badly priced but it did feel a little bit heavy because of that handle. The rest of the bag is very, very lightweight. Like you can barely notice it, but that handle is thick. Then we stopped to look at this Cassandra bag. I love the Cassandra bag from Saint Laurent. And I also absolutely love this bag. I don't even know what this one's called. It's a new bag. I think it's a, like a more hobo bag shape for the 5'7". You know what I'm saying? I think that the shearling version is definitely the cutest, but I thought the other version was cute as well. And then we had to stop and get a smoothie for me. I mean, Elver got some Chinese food, you know, Elver got Chinese food, but I needed a smoothie. But before we left, I had to stop and look at the Rolexes again. All of these were just absolutely stunning. You guys know I really want to watch and I am definitely switching to team Rolex right now. Like that's going to happen in 24. I'm just telling you 2024 is the year of the Rolex. <laughs> So that is it for this video what did you guys like the most that we saw today and on my birthday i mean i loved everything obviously i was i was very happy to see everything i think we saw some really good stuff let me know in the comments what was your favorite but that is it for this video thank you guys so much for watching i really hope you guys enjoyed it please don't forget to hit a thumbs up if you did like it don't forget to subscribe if you're not already don't forget to follow me on instagram i post every single day over there but that's all i have to say so i'll see you guys in my next video bye so we just got home i'm just gonna show you what i'm wearing super quickly i am wearing this shirt which i think is maybe from sheen i don't know this vest which definitely is from sheen my prada re-edition 2005 alana just woke up from her nap clearly i'm wearing the louis vuitton hoops drinking some yum yum yummy soup that's not soup that's a soup. I, 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 clean skin I, loud children I, I, these leggings which i think are from mango and these are my burberry rain boots which are actually the first purchase the first purchase not even luxury the first purchase i ever made when i got my first job at the deli and we're still rocking them 12 years later hello oh and before i forget yes i am i am wearing no makeup today we're makeupless clean skin this is what my face looks like